time for indoor farming. All right, update on American calabasa, jack-o'-lanterns as I like navigate through all this wet weather. Oh my God, like our things are so wet and my shoes are getting <laughs> so wet today. I gotta make sure I wear my boots. So uh, out of one acre, about 4,000 square meters, we planted 1,000 seedlings. We transported about 750 into the field. And out of that, by August 25th, there were 549, 541, somewhere in that area alive. As of last week, there were only 267. Out of those, there was only 26 fruit. 26 fruit. So, yeah, we're just not going to talk about pumpkins anymore. We're just going to kind of show the bad and move on. But I am encouraged about vanilla because we got some awesome uh, vanilla cuttings. I just took a lot of cuttings from ours. I threw out the ones that'd be kind of sick. And then today I'm gonna go through and probably just record. Uh-oh, looks like we got a tomato plant. Hold on a second, let me fix this one. Dead, yay. Get out of here, you evil tomato plant. It's vanilla's place. All right, so I got a bunch of cuttings. I brought some up from last week that I kind of said, this guy didn't do good. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. Is this guy dead? Ah, uh, nope. He is not dead. See, maybe I shouldn't give up on them. All right, so look, that, that one is a new start. So this rooted. I don't know if these other ones rooted. So I don't see anything. You'll see if they, if they actually rooted and sprouted. They'll come out. I don't know if this one is alive or not. Anyway. So we got that. So we have good encouraging results with vanilla being transferred up here. Uh, as you can see, uh, tomato plants, because where you did tomatoes at before, they just are coming up out of nowhere. So very resilient variety that we planted. But everything else looks good here with vanilla. We're gonna, I'm gonna go through and do some vanilla work today. This one had two vines on it, which is nice. They're kind of thin, but it's looking pretty good. I don't see anything else other than that, other than that's a really cool picture looking at those vanillas the way they're creeping up and doing that so that's what it's going to look like so it's going to go to the top and then it's going to go to the bottom and then go to the top and then go to the bottom i'm going to pause this and get a picture because it's actually kind of a cool picture all right back to video so all right that was just a really cool picture because you can kind of see how they're all like fanned out and looking at it looks really cool like zigzaggy so we're going to grow them up to the top and then put them back down in the ground and then we're going to grow them to the top and put them back so it's going to be like a curtain of vanilla and then it's gonna be like a wall so this should be enough in between each other it's uh two meters apart by one meter across so that's okay that should be more than enough they're not gonna really do too much they're gonna grow up like this they really like bamboo to climb on they really like attaching to that so I'll just let that be and then now once they get to the top uh just kind of let them grow a little bigger let them grow out and then what you do is just let gravity bring them back down so other than that we're just using regular uh, packing twine to get that up and then right now so our project is half shade half sun it's debatable because it seems like it's always raining so other than that everybody looks pretty good we've had some casualties out here when it comes to vanilla but i've got probably like 40 cuttings to put in the ground today that i think are more or less disease free i didn't do my long cure because our weather's crap it's raining so this is what we got it's semi uh dry i.e i cut it yesterday and that's what we got so we're gonna make the most out of that but I, I don't think it's gonna have too much weather the outside ones will probably be more susceptible as you can see it's just gonna splash so that you're gonna probably expect to have more losses on the outside versus the inside um, other than that I don't see anything with that we're testing the drip in here we're not doing any crazy cocoa we're not gonna layer it yet there's no need to layer it yet all right these guys take so long to establish. There's no way to fit. If, if every research paper that I read, and maybe they're lying, they probably are lying. Maybe they are. They say that fertilizing and everything else like that, there's some ways you can speed it up and make it grow. Great. I've also not fed mine for months and they still grow like crazy. So it doesn't really matter. I think that you're more looking at health and happiness of the vine and then the vigor right because there's like 300 different species of vanilla but only like two are really commercial uh varieties so again take it with a grain of salt what you read online and what you see even take what i say go verify what i say i've read a lot of handbooks on it i'm just kind of giving you the results that i've seen as i try to scale this into one hectare of vanilla 
So, you know, again, we'll see. And that, that's the minimum size you should do is one hectare. <laughs> minimum size is one hectare. That's not a joke just because losses. Oh, my God. Anyway, so other than that, I'm just going to record some time-lapse video here and uh, kind of go over some of the problems and concerns like pitching off. You don't want to do this, right? You always want to make sure that your vanilla leaf is happy and on top of. So just want to make sure that they got that. I am noticing some like lesions on that one, probably due to animal. I don't see anything up here, but worst case, I just cut all this. There has been a lot of ant, um, so I'm probably gonna spray to treat that. Look, I'm gonna try to keep these as organic as possible because it makes a great thing, but we have an insane ant problem on this farm, insane. And it requires me to treat the trees, right? You see out here, we have our rambutan harvest, but ours, all of ours is at the top. See, it's full of rambutan, but it get, rambutan attract ants, and especially the little black ones that like never go away. So I'm gonna have to do some sort of preventative measure to get this. Treat it like a biofumigation. I'm biofumigating the vanilla. It just happens to be the vanilla is in the way, but that's the easiest way to look at it. So that one's looking pretty good. They're starting to turn red up over there. Not as bright red, but we've really had some really terrible uh, weather patterns for the past uh, I don't know, three months. As you can see with uh, peppers and pumpkins have been having issues, but vanilla has been really able to power through it. There's a little couple things that I like to point out too, is that you always wanna take a look at your plants. Some of this, like here, this could be the black rot that kind of gets in there. There's no real treatment for that. Most likely this thing will go if it doesn't power through it because vanilla just sits there for a long. So I'm probably gonna cut some things out and then see if it can bounce back from there. I really don't like spaying uh, pesticides or fungicides on um, vanilla. There's just, this is not really good for vanilla's lifespan, especially because it grows for so long, but we're gonna have to do some sort of organic methods to get it to uh, um, fight through, power through some nutrients. And a lot of it really comes down to nutrients. So that's one of the big things I stressed with my peppers. I was able to feed it. Once I really, really, really micromanaged it, then uh, not, pl not plant micros actual micromanagement like management so after i micromanaged it and really stepped in and made sure that everything was getting sprayed in my directions they're able to bounce back and we're able to recover some sort of harvest i'm not spending a ton of money on the sprays so it seems to be working so with that i'll shut up i'm going to rip out some tomato plants stretch some irrigation lines out and then i'm just going to go to town on vanilla